All right, what's up, everybody? The winter dead season is officially over. The market is back in full force as of this week, and you can safely start trading again. If you want to hear more about that topic, you can check out my last video where I explained all about it. But today, we're going to be talking about a couple of things you need to be doing as a Forex trader in order to be successful and to ultimately make money from day trading the markets. There are five tips that I'm going to go over today. These are some of the most important out of a very long list of do's and don'ts when it comes to Forex trading. If you can at least remember and put into practice these five, then you should have a very successful trading experience for the rest of 2022 and beyond. So let's start with tip number one. <clears throat> Every single trade you take should be based on a high probability pattern. Now there are a bunch of different patterns that can form depending on who you ask. There could be probably 100 or more trading patterns out there. This is obviously way too many to be thinking about while you're trading. Trading is very complex and you already have more than enough on your plate. So I decided to simplify this comp concept down to its most basic form to keep things easier. Understand that every single forex pattern falls into one of three categories. We have breakouts, trend continuations, and reversals. That's it. You can break any of these patterns out there down into one of these three categories. I personally only trade um, a couple patterns. I trade consolidation breakouts, a couple of different types of trend continuations, and for reversals, we have engulfing tops, double tops, head and shoulders, and parabolic tops. These are, in my opinion, uh, the most simple and easy to identify patterns out there. Um, but let's look at some of the more obscure patterns. We Here we have an ascending triangle. This is a continuation of an already heavy trend or a trend continuation. Or you can look at a bullish rectangle. We have an established trend, a consolidation here, and the trend continues upward here. Also a trend continuation. If you look at that same bullish rectangle in the other direction, that would then become a double top or a triple top in this case, which fits into the reversal category. Breakouts are a little bit more obvious. They will either be a breakout from a consolidation or a breakout above or below an established support or resistance level. You can go and look for yourself, look at any of the patterns out there in the wild, and you will see that they all will fit into one of the three categories that I mentioned earlier. So when you're looking for trade opportunities, keep these three categories in mind. If the pair is consolidating in a range, you will be looking for breakouts. If the pair has already made a breakout, you would then be looking for trend continuations. If the trend has been going on for a long time and is showing signs of slowing down, you would then start to look for reversals. If the trend has already reversed and retested and continued in the direction of the reversal, you could either enter the trade at the retest or simply wait for a good trend continuation entry. If you know what type of pattern you're scanning for while you're scanning, it will make it much more simple to know when you can safely enter into a trade. Uh, so let's move on to tip number two. Use market correlations to enhance your trades. Let's look at a couple of pairs. The GBP USD, the Euro USD, the Euro GBP, and the DXY dollar index. The Great Britain pound is the official currency over in the UK and a couple other countries. And the Euro is the official currency of many countries in the European Union. These two currencies are from regions that are very close to each other. And the countries that use these uh, those currencies also tend to have similar economies. This causes these two pairs to move almost identically. And since they are both paired up against the dollar, they will almost always move in the same direction, which is the opposite direction of the dollar index. So for example, if the dollar index is on a double top reversal pattern, the GBP USD is on a double bottom reversal pattern and the Euro USD is also on a double bottom reversal pattern. The chances of all three pairs reversing is extremely high. Like I mentioned before, the pound and the euro will almost always go in the same direction. The speed of this happening is determined by another pair, the euro GBP, which measures these two currencies strength against each other. So if the euro GBP is on a double top, that means that it will likely reverse soon and the euro's value will go down relative to the pound. 
So even though they are both going in the same direction against the dollar, the GBP USD will go up faster and have a stronger trend than the Euro USD. So obviously if you're trying to decide between the two pairs, which one to enter a trade on, in this example, you would be better off going long on the GBP USD since your trade will be completed more quickly and also has a much higher chance of going all the way through to your take profit. This is one of the most basic and simple correlations. There are many different correlations just like this in the market. Understanding what they are and how to best take advantage is key to entering successful trades. All right. So moving on to number three, always use multiple time frame analysis when trading. I take almost all of my trades on the five minute chart. Whichever chart you choose to take your entries on is up to personal preference. I see some people using the one minute chart to take trades, which is a little bit too fast for me, but you can have success trading on any of the different time frames. Regardless of where you're taking your trades, you definitely need to be taking both the lower and higher time frames into consideration when entering a trade. If you're trading on the five minute chart like I do, you also need to be looking at the 15 minute, the one hour and the four hour charts, just like this right here. So typically the one hour chart will show you the best information. You can determine the longer term trends based off of this chart. Once you see, um, once you can see a good entry on the one hour, it's also a good entry on the 15 minute and the five minute charts for the same pair. That trade setup has a very high chance of being a winner and should be safe to enter. As far as setting your take profits, I recommend at a minimum going for one and a quarter reward. This will keep you well above water even with a 50% win rate. But if you come across a really good trade in great market conditions, you could go for up you can go for two reward or even up to three reward safely. Um, but keep in mind that the patterns do show up differently on the different charts. So make sure that you have at least four time frames up no matter what. This way you can see what, for example, a double top will look like on a five minute. It looks a little bit different on a 15 minute. It looks a little bit different on the one hour, so on and so forth. Um, if a pair is already trending heavy, especially on the higher time frames, always go for a trend continuation entry unless you see strong signs of reversal. Just keep in mind that it takes much more time and energy for a reversal than for a trend to continue in the direction that it's already going in. All right, and tip number four, use stop orders to avoid unnecessary losses. This is especially true for breakouts. If you see a bar breaking out, first wait for the bar to form completely so that you can see if it ends up being solid. If it does, you should wait for one more bar to form. If you get a small consolidation bar like this one, you can safely put a buy stop order above this area. Make sure to keep the spread in mind when placing your order. If you put it directly on top of the bars, you'll risk the trade triggering early. Using buy and sell stops is an easy way to avoid fake outs. If the price ends up going, if the price ends up just going back down, your trade will never have triggered in the first place and you won't lose any money. But if you had entered a regular market order and the trade ends up faking out, you would lose the money in that scenario. You can also avoid losses using stop orders on trend continuations or really any type of trade. For the faster patterns like parabolic tops and bottoms, you would probably want to enter that trade with a market order. Basically just press the button as soon as you see the correct entry. But for basically any other pattern, you would be better off using a stop order instead. Try this out for yourself and you will notice your win rate increase dramatically. And finally, we have tip number five, and that is to have patience during your trading sessions. As an extremely impatient person myself, by nature, this was one of the hardest things for me, but successful forex trading is really based around waiting patiently most of the time, scanning the market for only the highest quality trades and making sure to not jump into mediocre trades or just enter trades out of boredom. It takes a lot of discipline. You need to understand that even even just to get one and a quarter reward from a trade off of the five minute chart, this will usually take about an hour or two for the trade to be completed, two or three hours or even more if you go for a two or three reward. 
the price will likely fluctuate maybe even get very close to your stop loss sometimes right after you just had a heavy profit and you need to understand this as well if you did your proper analysis of the trade beforehand you looked at the higher and the lower time frames you waited for favorable market conditions you made sure there weren't any major support or resistance levels in the way you checked the higher uh, you checked for higher volume at the time of your entry etc you should be 100 percent confident that your trade will go through all the way to your take profit if you sit there and you watch your trade play out you're likely going to want to exit the trade early due to your profits co constantly going up and down it is very tempting to want to take your profit early but this is how you end up throwing off your overall profits in relation to your win loss ratio with a 50 percent win rate for example you should definitely be making money on most trading systems but if you're taking your profits early on your wins and you're letting your losses go all the way down to your stop loss you could actually end up losing money in the long run so to prevent this from happening what you can do is place the trade set an alarm on trading view for both the stop loss and the take profit and then turn the computer off completely walk away go watch a show play a game take a nap whatever you want to do this way you won't physically be able to tamper with the trade move your stop losses or do anything else reckless and since you set the alarms your phone will alert you when the trade either fails or goes through to your take profit usually the trade will go through in an hour or two and you can choose to either continue trading or if you're satisf satisfied with your winnings you can take the rest of the day off Whew. all right so there it is five really important tips that will improve your trading sessions very dramatically especially if you, especially if you weren't aware of these before let me know what you think about these and if you have any tips of your own that you want to let me know about please do go ahead leave a comment uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel i put out a lot of content about day trading the forex market and a little bit about long-term investments as well um, so that's all for today remember to always trade responsibly and i'll see you guys later